Hello everyone, welcome back to Epurepu TV. Um, um, one of our brother is asking a question. Somebody sent me this particular message and I want to ask this question here. If you have an answer, please let us know through the comment section. Okay, according to him, as you can see, he said, I was in Italy before, so they gave me document. Okay, listen, which means he was in this country. He went for commission and luckily for him, he got the document. But he couldn't wait before the result came out and he fled Italy to another country. Now, in continuation with what he said, he said they gave him document. I wanted to collect it, but there was a control in border of Austria. Okay? So they did, it seems that it was during the coronavirus era that this thing happened. You know that there was um, these uh, restrictions up and down. According to him, he said, I was not able to collect it. It has been four years since I have been in Germany. Can I still go and collect the document in Italy or it's already invalid? What should I do? Um, and I asked him, what's the position of your asylum over there? He said that he has dudum. Now, so guys, please, I will need your opinion on this case. Or maybe I should have even done a live video for it. But uh, let's see. Maybe I will do that later. So please, if you have any answer that you want to give to him, and the one thing I forgot to ask him was whether it was two years old or four years, even even two years or even or two years or five years. Okay, so if, if it is five years, which means it is still valid. Um, he said it's four years now. If it is five years, which is political asylum, that means it is still valid for some maybe like some months, if not a year. I don't really know. I think I need to get more information from him. But I've given him um, a lawyer who can handle this case for him. He has not gotten back to me. Uh, but uh, for the meantime, I would like us to um, say what your opinion is. If you have had such experience, if you know somebody who had um, such experience, would like to know so that we'll know. <laughs> and he will also be watching this video to know what you guys have to say to him. So, but my own advice for people who are already in Italy, who have come, if you want to stay in Italy, stay in Italy. If you don't want to stay in Italy, just pack your bags. The moment you arrive in Italy, don't even waste time. Just start moving to that very country. Don't seek asylum in Italy. Then you run away to seek asylum in Germany or you run away to seek asylum in Holland. It doesn't work well. It doesn't work well. You may get documented, but it is not always sounding very cool, you know. You may get a document, too, but it is not always that easy. But if you have never been to that country before, it is your first country of landing and where they will process your asylum, then there is an opportunity for you to get document. But there is another thing also. It has advantage and disadvantages. Now, now, now he has dodong. If they want to deport him, they will deport him to Italy because Italy was the first country of his arrival before any other place. So uh, there is a negative and positive aspect to this documentation issue. If you get Italian uh, as um, uh, um, asylum request, if you if you apply for it and go to another country, they want to deport you. They won't deport you direct to your country of origin. They will deport you to your country of first arrival, the country that you arrived first. So that's how it works. So let me know if you have any, you know, opinion on what you think about it, your own experience about all these things, and what sh what can he do? Okay, he's asking now. Maybe I'll get more info for, from him and let you people know about it. Please help me share this video so that others too will know about it. Assuming he has that document, he can stay in Italy for some time, uh, do one or two work and then go away. Or even get autonomous um, contract for the country and pay tax, you know, small, small, and he can still go where he wants to go. Sometimes Germany does not easily give document to um, immigrants. You know, it's always difficult. They can waste your time there, sure. 
We're no country that doesn't waste time. But let me know your opinion on this matter. Okay, I'll see you guys on the next update. Stay tuned here, don't go nowhere. Let me think.